Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I'm going to try and keep this one shorter than my last one um, purely because I'm not well. Um, <laughs> this is just a video to say thank you to everyone who sponsored me um, for the Brighton Marathon. Uh, I will do some sort of video or some sort of picture update on Facebook and YouTube if I can uh, in the next few weeks once <coughs> Excuse me, the dust has settled. Um, but yeah, this is just really a video to say thank you to everyone for your support and also your sponsorship and uh, messages of support um, and everything Brighton Marathon related. Um, I really appreciate it, I really, really do. Um, it was an amazing weekend in one sense, <laughs> the social aspect and also complete, um, competing in the, the marathon itself. Um, weather staying dry for us as well was good. Um, obviously, I've been. Uh, Friday I woke up with an illness, um, a bit of a bug, which gradually got worse the weekend went on. Um, but I did say to you guys that I would, um, you know, get around the Brighton Marathon course either if I had to walk. Um, and uh, I felt really rough Sunday morning, but I ran in just under six hours, which I was pleased with. It was better than my better than my worst marathon time. Um, but a bit disappointed if I wasn't so well I would have definitely beaten my best marathon time and, and got under 5 hours but I ran the first 17 miles and then I walked about 7 or 8 miles and then ran the last 2 uh, two miles to get under 6 hours um, but the training has paid off um, and the running did I'm just paying the price now a little bit um, everything's come this week I started a new job on Monday Obviously I've been ill for that the whole week having the drive in the last uh, is 40 minutes into Canvey Island um, every day and 40 minutes back I do a day's training uh, Monday morning I woke up feeling really bad I was about to say a swear word but I'm not going to because my body's trying to fight off this infection and also trying to fight off um, trying to repair my muscles for the marathon um, I've been coughing up all rounds and colours of stuff it's been great um that was on the Monday and the Tuesday. Um, yeah, so it's not been uh, it's been a good a mixed a mixed bag, a good weekend and a bad weekend, um, a bad week so far. But been feeling really ill all week now and worrying about London. But like I said, I'll get around London as well, even if I have to walk that too. Um, it's just been a busy week starting a new job. I had my friend's wedding yesterday as well, um, and the, yeah. It it was always yeah it was always going to be a busy week, but um, it's just made harder when you got nearness on top. Uh, but you know I said I'll get around it and and, and I want to you know I, I would <coughs> <coughs> excuse me and I would have done regardless. So um, yeah, this is a message. This is just a plea because I've been off the grid the last couple of weeks. So the last couple of weeks, the last week. Because of being rough and and just being, also yeah, you might notice I've got like a dark half of a face. Um, caught the sun big time on the run. So I think I might have a little bit of sunstroke as well. <laughs> um, yeah, but finished the job on uh, today, my training, and um, came home to came back to the car, find out a flat tire as well. So I had to replace that this afternoon. So it's been getting well. The weeks has been getting worse and worse. All the bad stuff's been getting worse. Um, it feels like ten times worse because you've got an illness. As you know, when you've got an illness, everything seems worse. And I know some people might be going, "Oh, it's just man flu," but it's not. <laughs> I feel really bad, and um, it's obviously you run the marathon whilst not being very well isn't the best idea. But as I said, when I got up for work on Monday. It really felt like I'd been in a coma for about a month and someone just kicked seven bells of crap out of me. Um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't walk down the stairs um, and I had to drive. So um, I've been driving on autopilot pilot. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, I woke up, hit, um, legs on fire, I felt on fire. Um, Travelled to work like a ghost, I don't really recall getting to work, like, yeah, just on autopilot. Um, yeah, got randomly upset in front of mum and dad yesterday as well. Um, 
just because I felt so run down. Um, uh, it's just been a horrible week, but so I, as a as an aside, I haven't been able to um, put appeals up for this weekend. And remind you that I am doing the London Marathon. I will be doing it. Um, and again, if you can donate anything, I'll be really, 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 really grateful. Um, please take a look at this video. This isn't one of those appeals, um, you know, for charities. One of those sort of things you see at lunchtime on IEV. If you're in the 60-minute makeover appealing for charity cases, um, I you know I just want to prove to you that I am putting myself through the meal. Um, it, I am doing it. It's not just something that I'm just doing for a laugh or you know just putting Facebook statuses up for sympathy or you know I am going through it this week um, and rightly so you know it's a big big deal and I'm not I don't want no hero status or anything I'm not, not saying it because of that I'm just saying it purely because you know, those people that are doubting me and, and, and don't want to sponsor me because they're not sure that I was going to do it or I'm just talking crap um, you know yeah here I am full of bugs and illnesses um, so it is very much real <laughs> I'm not putting it on um, my own fault I know but I said I wouldn't have it any other way um, I wanted to do this thing for the charity and um, you know and I, and I will I will follow it through um, so anything you can do guys um, I will update this week or next with some pictures of Brighton and, and some video I took some video I wanted to film the race Brighton but I couldn't I just I couldn't just barely hold myself up let alone a camera so um, we'll see how we go for London this week um, but I just want to get through it I mean that's the main thing but again if you can donate anything I really, really appreciate it um, I apologise for the downer video I hope I haven't sent you to sleep um, I'm going to eat some food now um, just as an aside as well I, this is Wednesday night it's my first dinner since Saturday night um, so bearing in mind I did a marathon on Sunday I couldn't eat my dinner that night when I should have been ravenous and then on um, Monday and yesterday I couldn't eat anything um, but I had chicken pasta on Monday night and one lump of chicken I was stuck in all the rubbish in my chest and I couldn't swallow it so that one got moved to the side um, I've been drinking lots of fluid and that's it but I haven't eaten anything um, Yesterday I ventured, to, but yesterday I ventured to McDonald's and a double cheeseburger, and that didn't go down very well either. So, um, but this tonight's my first proper dinner: veg, potatoes, blah blah blah, protein. So I've got to think about building myself up for this Sunday now because it's not just the illness, but I won't have the energy to make it round. So I'm gonna uh, go watch a bit of football, I think. Do the uh, upload this video, and then also. Um, have my dinner and then go to bed. Oh, anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching and uh, a bit shorter than the last one. So uh, let's go meal. You know, otherwise, it would have been long. Anyway, guys, take care. Again, please sponsor me anything you can. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for all your message of support. Um, I will get back to every single one of you who isn't messaging me or commenting me or sent me cards or whatever. Um, I just haven't been had, had energy to do anything at the moment. So. It's not, and that's not for me being lazy for once. Um, but I will get back to you, I promise. So thanks again. I'll speak to you guys soon. And uh, take care.